Hi everybody, John at Velocity Imaging Products here. Going to show you today how to reach your multifunctional devices web page. This is where you're going to want to go to make adjustments to the machine. For example, adding an email address to your, to your address book. Uh, lots of times it's faster to do it here than it is at the printer itself. If you're Windows 7 or Windows 8, you're going to go to the Start button and you'll push the Start button and you will see a selection that comes up for your devices and printers. That's where we want we want to get to. We're Windows 10, so easiest way I think of to do it is just type devices right here, and you'll see devices and printers. And once we select devices and printers, our devices and printers window will pop up. Select the printer you want to find the IP address of. Highlight it, but don't open it. Then right click over that and select the printer properties. A new window will pop up. Your third tab over says ports, select ports. You're going to want to stretch out this column right here. Scroll down and once you scroll down, you should see the system's IP address right here. That number, you're going to want to remember that. That's what you're going to type into the web browser to reach the printer. I'll show you right now. So this one's 116. And so when we come up to our, to our web browser, just type in that number, 192.168.116. You can see it right there. And when we type that in, we're at our printer. There you go. That's how you find your printer's web page. Hope that helped.